Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this video is actually the first of my weekly sneaker rotations that I hope to be bringing to you every week, but let's get right into it. Uh, this was Monday, and you can see I am wearing a New Balance 574. This is from the Out East pack, uh, one of my favorite New Balances that I have. And on Tuesday, we've got some pretty crazy socks right here. We've got the Van slip on in a glow in the dark checkerboard pattern. Um, one of my one of my most wearable shoes, not because of really the colorway, but just because they're so easy to wear. I can wear them when it's sunny, when it's raining, when it's whatever, just because they're sort of an all condition shoe, because I'm not too worried about getting them dirty. But Vans, slip on, checkered, glow in the dark, definitely good looking shoe. On Wednesday, we had the Jordan Team Jumpman, Jordan Jumpman Team 1. I always forget how the name goes, but this is in the Baron colorway. Definitely one of my, probably my favorite um, Team Jordan retro, whatever. Uh, I guess another one that would be in that category is probably the Spazikes, but I really like this colorway. Really glad to have these in my collection because not a lot of people do, no one else really does but definitely one of my favorite Jordans from last year. On Thursday, we sort of toned it down a little with the Stan Smith in just kind of the white and red colorway. Um, probably the most classic colorway other than the, the green one. Uh, as you can see, my almost ankle socks that go above, that cover the ankle, which are kind of annoying, but they're very soft, so I figured I'd wear them. But black joggers on with these. Um, another very wearable shoe. Lots of, a lot of casual shoes this week. Uh, Stan Smith, red colorway. On Friday, we have an Air Jordan 1. This is a mid. This is the Thunder colorway. One of my, probably one of the best uh, Jordan 1 mids to release in recent years. Um, I don't know why, like... I got these for I think $50 on eBay, but if these were a high, I definitely think that these would have sold out and would probably be worth around $200. And on Saturday, we have the Kobe 8 Year of the Horse, uh, one of my favorite shoes in my collection, one of my most worn, most comfortable, uh, just so much I can say about the shoe. Um, as you can see, the bottoms, the bottoms are supposed to look like what it looks like on the side of the sole the the blue and not the dirty bottoms but on and to finish the week off on Sunday we have the LeBron 9 low in this basic red colorway uh, these are basically my beater shoes my favorite pair uh, for that purpose and just really comfortable in the size 14 um, and just an all-around great shoe uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, stay tuned for next week's sneaker rotation video. Now, see you guys later.